guys, so in today's video I'll be showing you how to achieve the look that I'm wearing right now. I've been really wanting to do a dramatic look with burgundy shades and I'm so happy that I did because this look came out so beautiful and I really hope you guys like it too. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching and let's get started. Okay, so I already have my moisturizing cream on. I use my favorite La Roche-Posay Hydrine Light. And now we're going straight to the foundation and I'm going to use the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. This is in the shade 51, but I'm going to mix it with the shade 52. I'm applying it all over my face with my damp beauty blender. This foundation has yellow undertones in it which I don't really find in many drugstore foundations. Also, it's giving a light to medium coverage, but it's definitely a buildable foundation, so you can get that medium to full coverage. So next, to conceal my under eye area, I'm going to do an old favorite combination of mine. I'm going to mix these two concealers here. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in shade Ivory, and this one is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Porcelain. So I'm going to apply them both underneath my eyes, and I'm going to blend them out with my Beauty Blender. And then to prevent it from creasing, I'm going to set it with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. Oh, I just hit the pan! <laughs> this is the third one. And before we go to the eye makeup, I'm going to set my entire face with this powder here by Clinique. It's in the shade Neutral Fair. I'm going to use the Zuiva 106 brush. And when I'm applying powder all over my face, I'm not dragging the brush, I'm actually dabbing it on my face. So I don't move the foundation that I already have on. Alright, so now we're going to the eyes and even though I'm going to wear a dark lip, I want to do something bolder on the eyes. I'm feeling like going pretty dramatic today. So I'm going to start off with that Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer that I already use underneath my eyes. And I'm going to apply a small amount of it on my eyelid and I'm going to blend it with my finger. I'm going to use it instead of an eyeshadow base. And then I'm setting it with some face powder. You can also use a nude eyeshadow. I usually do my eyebrows before that, but for some reason I forgot today. So be right back. I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm coming. Yay! Eyebrows on! Now I'm taking this eyeshadow here called Burnt Orange by Anastasia Beverly Hughes. And with the Zuiva 227 brush, I'm going to apply it in my crease. And this is going to be my transition shade. And I'm going to also take it here in the outer corner, like this. Then I'm taking a bigger blending brush. This is the Makeup Addiction Duo Fiber Blender. And I'm going to use it to blend that eyeshadow even better and make sure that there are no harsh edges. And I'm using a very light pressure with it. Next, I'm taking this eyeshadow. It's from the Melt Cosmetics Love Sick Stack. The eyeshadow is actually called Love Sick. It's a really beautiful burgundy shade. I'm going to apply it in the outer corners of my eyes. And to do that, I'm going to use the Zuiva 231 brush. I'm taking again that Zuiva brush that I used to apply the burnt orange in the crease and this time I'm going to use it to blend the edges of that burgundy shade. It has no additional product in it. I'm going to add one more layer of that eyeshadow coat Love Sick. It's that burgundy shade so that it's nice and intense because with the blending I lost some of the intensity. And as you can see, I'm keeping it just in the outer half of my eye. I'm not taking it any further, but if you wish, you can definitely apply it all over the eyelid. And this is going to make the eye look even more dramatic. And then again, with that bigger blending brush by Zuiva, I'm blending out the edge.
lip today. I'm looking at the lipstick that I'm going to wear and I'm like, I'm coming for you. <laughs> so now let's just finish up the eye makeup. I'm going to use again that eyeshadow called Fresh by Anastasia Beverly Hughes. And I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone with it. I'm using the Morphe MB18 brush. I'm not using any shimmery eyeshadows today. I want to keep the eye makeup really matte. I'm going to wear the La Page. I'm not sure that I pronounced that right, but these are mink lashes and they're in the style rosy. So I'm just going to glue them on and I'll be back. I wasn't expecting them to be that long, but I'm not mad. I actually really like them. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going on the face and I'm going to contour with the Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to use the Sigma F05 brush. I'm also going to take it on the top of my forehead, but if you have a smaller forehead, I would suggest you to skip this step. From this palette by Morphe with bronzers, I'm going to mix these two together and I'm going to apply them on my face with the Sigma F15 brush. I'm going to add just a little bit of a blush and I'll be using this one here by Makeup Geek, it's called Romance. I'm going to use the Jessup Tapered Face Brush to apply it. And for highlighter, I'll be mixing these two together. This one is called Summer and this one is Moonstone. They're from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Deep Glow Kit. And I'm going to apply them with the Sigma F35 brush. So now that the face is completed as well, it's time for the lips. I'm going to use this lipstick here by Ofra. It's in the shade Hypno. I got inspired for this whole look by this lipstick. I really love the shade. It's that pretty burgundy color and the formula is just amazing. And of course, I'm cleaning up the edges with some concealer. And this is the finished look guys, I really hope you enjoy watching this video, I think that this look is going to be perfect for a nighttime event or something like that. The eyes are pretty dramatic and the lips are really bold and I, I love that, I love that. I think that it came out pretty good. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget that you can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and also visit my blog, all the links are going to be down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in my next one. Bye!